What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back or welcome to Lin Lin. Thank you guys so much for coming to check out the video today. Guys, as you can see from the title, I am going to be making Chipotle burrito bowls from home. My kids love Chipotle, I love Chipotle. So I'm gonna show you how to make Chipotle burritos or Chipotle bowls from home for at least half of the price that you would be paying for it in Chipotle. All right, guys, let's go. I am headed into Wally World Walmart. Let's go see what kind of deal I can find on all the ingredients that I need for this Chipotle bowl. Now, it is windy as heck out here. Let's go grab a basket. It's not gonna work. All right. Okay, so we are in Walmart. Now, I got my list here. So, we only need a couple different things for this to make this happen. Let's see. So the first thing that we need is some chicken. Looking for some chicken breasts. These are not necessarily on sale, but you don't want to get them too thick. And these ones look kind of thick. I don't want them that thick. Let me see. We got some thin sliced, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. These are a 11.28 for these ones. I'm gonna grab this one because you don't want the chicken to be too thick. You want it kind of thin. Okay, so one of the ingredients I need is chili powder. I don't have any chili powder at home. These are $1.12. Also need paprika. But this is just the regular paprika. I think I wanna get smoked paprika. But I think I'm gonna get this one for now and then see if they have the other one in the aisle somewhere. And then I'm also gonna need some cumin. So we're gonna go look for some cumin. Hey guys. <laughs> All right. Ma, you wanna go? Or you wanna go with me? I wanna go with you. Okay. So one of the other things that it says that you need is distilled white vinegar or lime. Now I have a bunch of limes already at home from um, that I got from the food bank. So I don't think I'm gonna get any vinegar um, today, but it is only $1.58 for the white vinegar or $2.47 for this one. So these are only $1.58. So if you don't have limes at home, you can substitute the marinade part of the marinade for the white vinegar the ingredients that i'm getting right now are basically just for the um, seasoning that i'm going to put on the chicken which is the original chipotle seasoning so right now i'm looking for some cumin need some Extra virgin olive oil is another one of the things that I need. I don't have any of this, but I'm just gonna grab this in general. I don't necessarily just need it for the meal, but I just need it in general, so I'm gonna grab that. Okay, now we're looking for cumin. I wanna try to stick with the Great Value brand because it is the cheapest, but they might not have it. Let's see. That's cream of tartar. Here's the smoked paprika. So I'm gonna put the other paprika back and get the smoked one. Do you see any cumin? Okay, so this is the only bottle of ground cumin that I could find. This one is $3.98. Okay, so I have all of the seasonings that I need for the chipotle um, sauce for the chicken. I got ground cumin chili powder, oregano leaves, we got smoked paprika, and like I said, I have the limes at home, and so I don't need the distilled vinegar. I'm just gonna use what I have at home. Okay, another thing that I need in general 
is some rice and I use jasmine rice. It is $6.84, which is good because usually it's a little bit more expensive. So I'm gonna get some jasmine rice as well. So some of the other ingredients that Chipotle bowls call for is like sour cream. Um, I'm gonna do regular rice. I'm not gonna do the cilantro lime rice, mainly because um, my kids don't usually eat the cilantro lime rice. They usually just pick the cilantro out of it. So I'm gonna skip that rice. I'm gonna make regular rice with it and not put the cilantro in it. Although the cilantro lime rice makes the meal, but we're gonna opt out of that one today. So I'm gonna grab some cheese. I'm gonna grab some Monterey Jack cheese. This is actually the cheese that I'm just gonna put on the bowl. I'm gonna shred this myself. The last couple things that I need on my list are um, I'm gonna get frozen corn, and this is just to make the corn salsa. Now, I don't have to make the corn salsa, but I'm going to just because I kind of like the corn salsa at um, Chipotle. It goes good on the bowls, I like it. But I already have guacamole, so I'm not going to um, make that homemade. I'm just gonna use the package that I already have at home. Okay, so this corn right here is only 98 cents. And this is about all I need. I don't need a big thing of it because I will only be using it for the salsa. So 98 cents for this corn. Okay, Ma, come on. So a part of making the salsa calls for some red onions, but I already have some red onions at home, so I'm not gonna get any of those today. But what I do need is some tomatoes so that I can make the salsa and some jalapenos and some cilantro as well. So I'm gonna grab those items. Got the cilantro. Okay, so I have all the ingredients I need to make these bowls. I have the chicken, I got the rice, the cheese, the corn. I've got all my seasonings here, jalapeno, tomatoes. I got olive oil, that's just olive oil just to have. And I got some cilantro. The last thing I need is some black beans. And that's just a preference versus the pinto beans. So I'm gonna grab some black beans and then that will be it. Black beans. All right guys, so the total price, $34.19 is the total for the burrito bowls. I am back at home. Now I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have all set up. A few of the items I already had at home, so I did not need to pick up from the store. Let me show you what they are. So I got my jalapenos, I got my tomatoes, my onion, I got my limes, I got my corn, lettuce. I got some sour cream here, some guacamole. I got cheese, cilantro, the chicken breast, the rice, the black beans, then all the seasonings right here that you see are mainly for the chicken. These are all to marinate the chicken. That's the only thing that I'll be using them for. And now, like I said, I'm not gonna make the cilantro lime rice mainly because um, my little kids don't really care for it too much. So I'm just gonna use regular rice and just um, keep it simple like that, just using the regular jasmine rice. All right, guys, those are all the ingredients that we're gonna need. Let's get into this video. The first thing I'm gonna do is season the chicken because I want that to sit and marinate while I make everything else because I'm gonna cook that last. All right, let's get into it.
Okay, so now that I have cleaned all the chicken off, the next thing I'm gonna do is start adding the seasoning to it. First thing I'm gonna add is the smoked paprika. Next is the chili powder. Then we're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Some ground cumin. Garlic. Some oregano leaves. And then because I opted out of using distilled vinegar, I'm gonna use lime. So we're just gonna squeeze some lime juice in it. This is how it looks. I'm just gonna mix it all up. All right, this is what it looks like once it's all mixed up. That looks good, guys. So now I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it marinate until I'm finished cooking everything else. Okay, so a trick that I learned that if you were trying to unthaw things like corn quick, is to just put it in a strainer and run some cold water over it. And this will quicken the process of it unthawing without it getting mushy and things like that. So I'm gonna put the corn in here and let this unthaw. And the corn is what I'm using to make some of my um, salsas. So while the corn is unthawing and the chicken is marinating, I'm gonna start my rice. Now I like to cook my rice in the rice cooker because I am not good at cooking rice. It's usually a hit or miss if it's not cooked in the rice cooker. So for me, the rice cooker is my best bet. Okay, so now that I have my chicken marinating and my rice cooking, the last thing that I need to do is prepare the salsas. So I am gonna have a corn salsa and then I'm gonna have a pico salsa as well. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make both of those. This is what the corn salsa looks like. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it all up. Okay, 
Okay, guys, this is what the corn salsa looks like. That looks good and it smells even better. Mm, you guys just don't know. This smells so good, so good, so good, so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna work on the pico. Now for the pico, I'm gonna be using similar ingredients. I'm still gonna use my purple onion. I'm gonna use tomatoes this time, jalapeno, cilantro, and then I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice in it as well. So now I am done with the pico. This is what this turned out looking like. That looks good as well, and it smells good as well. So now that I'm done preparing all the salsas, I'm gonna put the chicken on and let that start to cook. Okay, this is what the chicken is looking like. It smells so, so good. Now I'm about to take this off, let it sit for a minute, and then cut this up. I got the beans over here going. I got two different kinds of black beans. So that's why they look like that. I got two different black beans in there. So those are done. The chicken is done. The rice is done. So now it's time to start preparing everything and plating it up. This is it. You got your corn salsa, pico, lettuce, guac, sour cream, got the chipotle chicken, got the shredded cheese, got your black beans, got your rice right here. It is time to make a chipotle bowl. Here is the final product, homemade Chipotle bowl. Now when your kids say they want Chipotle, you can say we got Chipotle at home. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.